Okay, I lied guys. I had to do another video. This is just amazing. This rock is filled with all these little caves and caverns. I'm sure this is uh, covered in water during high tide. There's a little one over here. You could go in. Look at this. Doesn't this look like some out of those, one of those gooey movies or something like that? Goes out to the ocean on the other side. This is, this is, this is speechless. It's breathtaking. It opens up out there onto the ocean. All right, I'll take you out there. Hope my battery doesn't die. Hope I don't drop my phone. Hope I don't get eaten by a shark. All those things like that. They can happen in the wild, wild ocean. Look at the rocks. The tall ones. Probably made out of mud or something, and they hardened into this stuff. I want to take you out to where it opens up. This stuff is probably underwater. What a cool dive that would be. And here's where it opens up into the ocean. I was out there walking earlier. Yeah, okay, I'll take you the last couple steps, then we'll take you on the grand tour back in. And here's some crap I picked up along the way. Always doing my duty, cleaning the beaches. There you go, there's the open ocean. And then we're gonna take you back. Cause I know you guys are loving this. You gotta be, how can you not be loving this as much as I'm now? God. Imagine being in here, I'm just full of water, scuba diving through here. I mean, see, I, I got disoriented for a second because I'm seeing the light over here, which is another passage out to the open ocean. But this is the way I came in and I couldn't see the opening for a second. That's how cave divers get lost. They lose sight of the opening and then they panic and they can't go up. They kick up the silt on the bottom. They can't see their bubbles. So they don't know which way is up, which way is down. Is that trash I'm seeing right there? Is that a rock? No, oh, it's just a bunch of dirt. So I gotta go find this pool guy. She might be lost somewhere in here. Lost track of her. God, this is awesome. I just don't have words for it. There's some other people. They're locals. I'm just chatting with them. Here's Donna, this is pool guy. You're gonna go in there and be brave in that cave? That is so cool. And so we're going to take you back to the entrance from which we came. Which is right here. Okay, we came in through that one. So we'll go out through this one right there. More open ocean. You can see the wave pounding on that big rock out there. Wind seems to be picking up a little bit. Looking up, looking down, going through. Oh my God, I've even forgotten about my sword. This is so awesome. Um, there, tight squeeze, tight squeeze, not there. <laughs> Wind widely challenged people. Let's be political correct here. All right. So, my knee feels better because I am so psyched to be here, but we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, we're leaving. Three hour drive and we got to four hour layover ah, in that rest area and in the airport because they changed it on us. There's a rock and there's Donna, my rock, sporting the running around Plymouth gear. And that's where we just came from, out from under this huge rock. Sorry for my lengthy video, but that was just too cool not to share over and out.